levels go up. Nehemiah was the cupbearer to King Artaxerxes of Persia. Nehemiah heard that Jerusalem was in ruins and that his friends there were in trouble. He asked God to help them. God gave Nehemiah the courage to speak to King Artaxerxes. Nehemiah asked if he could go to Jerusalem and help them fix their walls. Artaxerxes agreed. Nehemiah left for Jerusalem. Nehemiah walked around Jerusalem. Things were even worse than he'd heard. This will be a big job, he told the people. But with God's help, we can rebuild these walls. Everyone worked in families and groups, fixing the gates first. They fixed the sheep gate, the fish gate, the dung gate, and the other gates. Then they started rebuilding the walls. First, their enemies laughed, but as the walls grew higher, those enemies prepared to attack. So God's people worked with a tool in one hand and a sword in the other. After just 52 days, the wall was finished. Ezra the priest read God's law to the people. They promised to obey God's law and praised him for protecting them. The First Christmas Gift The angel Gabriel told Mary, You will have a baby. How? asked Mary. I'm not married. God's Holy Spirit will come down to you. The baby will be God's son. Mary believed him.
was engaged to Joseph, but he didn't believe her story. So an angel visited him too. Mary's not lying. Her baby will be God's son. You must name him Jesus. Many months passed. Then they traveled to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown, to be counted by the government. After that long journey, Mary was ready to give birth. But all the inns in Bethlehem were full. So God's son was born in a stable, wrapped in cloths, and laid on a bed of hay. They named him Jesus. appeared to some shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. Good news, the angel said. Your savior has been born. He's in Bethlehem lying in a manger. Suddenly, more angels appeared, so many of them that they filled the skies. Praise God in heaven, they all sang, and may everyone who pleases him receive his peace. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they went through the town. They were very excited. They told everyone what had happened, and they praised God for what he had done. Beloved Son, Before God sends his special Savior, said the prophet Malachi, a messenger will come to prepare the way for him. So John came before Jesus, preaching by the Jordan River. sending someone very special to his people. Change your ways. Turn from the bad things you have done. Be baptized. <gasps> oh. 
So that's what people did. Are you the promised one? They asked. No, said John. I'm not worthy to even carry his sandals. He will do amazing things. You'll see. <laughs> Jesus came to John to be baptized. When John saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. said. No, John replied. I need to be baptized by you. Trust me, said Jesus. This is the right thing to do. So John baptized Jesus. God's Spirit came down on Jesus like a dove. This is my son, God said. I love him. He pleases me very much. A test in the desert. God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for 40 days and nights. After that, Jesus was very hungry. Jesus was hungry. Satan tempted him. He pointed to a rock and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Jesus answered Satan using God's words from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps people alive, he said. Their lives also depend on what God says. to the top of the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump off. The scriptures say that God's angels will rescue you. So Jesus used God's word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord your God to the test, he said, quoting again from the Bible.
Finally, Satan took Jesus to a mountain and showed him all the world's kingdoms and wealth. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Go away, Satan, Jesus commanded. Then he quoted God's word one more time. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. As soon as Jesus said it, Satan left him. Then angels came and cared for him. Jesus had faced temptation and hadn't sinned, not even once. The King and the Kingdom Jesus traveled, teaching about the Kingdom of Heaven, and crowds followed Him. They didn't know yet that Jesus is the King, but He taught them how to live as people of His Kingdom. Hmm. People do good, said Jesus, because of the good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is in their hearts. God wants to make your heart like his heart. Don't worry about things like food and clothes, said Jesus. Put God first in your life. Obey Him. Trust Him. He will make sure that you have what you need. Jesus taught this prayer, Father God, your name is holy. Reign on earth like you reign in heaven. Meet our needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. <laughs> <laughs> Then Jesus told a story. One man built his house on a rock. A big storm came. Because the house was built on a rock, it did not fall down. <laughs> Another man built his house on soft and shifting sand. A big storm came. Because the house was built on sand, it fell down with a crash. The thing 
things I teach you are like the rock, said Jesus. Put my words into action, and you will be like the man who built his house on a rock. Through the roof. Full! The house was full! Jesus was in the house, teaching and healing, and everyone wanted to see him. Some men had a friend who could not walk. They believed that Jesus could heal him, so they carried him to the house on a mat. Because the house was so full, they couldn't get in. So they carried their friend up the steps to the flat roof and started tearing up the tiles. They opened a hole in the roof. Everyone in the house looked up, amazed. Then they lowered their friend into the middle of the crowd. They thought Jesus would heal their friend. Instead, Jesus said to him, Your sins are forgiven. The religious leaders were very unhappy. Only God can forgive sins, they grumbled. What's easier, asked Jesus, to forgive a man's sins or make him walk? To show you that I have God's power to forgive sins, I will heal his legs. Pick up your mat and walk home, said Jesus to the man. And he did. His friends cheered, and so did everyone else. Now the house was filled with praise.